Spectre is a brokerless financial trading platform for things like Forex and digital options, things like that. Uh, typically, when we are trading financial instruments, there's a broker that sits in between us and the actual markets. Uh, we tell the broker what trades we want to make, and the broker in turn then places those trades in the actual market for a fee, of course. Uh, Spectre has taken that extra step out of the equation by using the Ethereum blockchain and smart contracts. Not only that, but they've built an interesting system that can help you with the emotional and psychological aspects of trading that we're all far too familiar with. Um, in the past, I interviewed Spectre's CEO K about uh, all of this stuff and their ambitious future plans. I'll link to that interview here. Um, also, if you'd like to find out just a little bit more about smart contracts in general and the Ethereum virtual machine and how that all operates, I've got a playlist here that you can watch. Um, so now let's take a look at the Spectre interface and what you can do with it. So your first step, obviously, is going to be, go, be to go to spectre.ai. That's S-P-E-C-T-R-E dot -E A-I. You can click on the trade button in the navigation. Scrolls you down. Um, here you can register or log in. Uh, registration is really simple. Just name, email, and password, but I've already registered, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. So they actually have quite a bit in the way of tutorials. I highly recommend going through those the first time. Uh, they're, very, um, they're very helpful. They explain every feature of this platform. So because they've got so much content there, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a brief overview of what's possible so you know what to look at. So you'll want to go ahead and view tutorial. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is um, these charts are all really good. Kind of remind me of the Poloniex charts, who, you know, I think they have the best charts out of all the trading platforms. Um, certainly a matter of opinion. But yes, for those of the for those of you just looking at these platforms, just want to reiterate: this is, um, you know, forex mar markets, options, things like that. This isn't the actual cryptocurrency markets, but the technology behind cryptocurrency is being used here to cut out the brokers. So you see in these charts, you have a lot of different options for the different currencies you can trade. Let's just go ahead and stick with um, US dollar and Japan. Um, you have a lot of options about the periods of the charts. Up here in studies, you've got all the different indicators that you love and are used to. Um, so pretty much all the ones you're actually going to use on a day-to-day -day basis are in here. Lots of options for those. And I've already got the Bollinger Bands on here, so that's what you saw when we first got there. Also, you've got a whole lot of options on tools. You don't usually get most of this stuff in browser-based trading platforms, so this is really, really nice. Um, you can do just about anything. So that's really nice if you're one of those people who really overthinks things and likes to take their time and look at things at every an angle and annotate all their all their charts. So we've got that for you too. You can even break this out to a separate window so you have a lot more space to work with. Now you'll notice over here this, this interesting box called Trade Ideas. So if you, you can actually come on this platform without your own strategy. Um, and they'll actually make some suggestions about possible plays you might want to think about making. So to actually show you the charts uh, associated with this trade idea on the appropriate chart. And they'll um, tell you a little bit more about what this is all about. They have a video explanation. Um, of each of these, so that's a real interesting space. You can, um, that's a real good place to even, even if you're not actually placing trades, just come in here and learn about different ways you can place trades and things like that. So, I'm just going around with a few of these. You can look at the charts. And then to go along with that, you have um, this whole box full of senior trader commentary. Now, if you click on this question mark, they'll explain more about it. Um, this is actual people from the Spectre, te Spectre team 
that are posting what they're thinking about different markets and giving you more information about things like that. So once again, I mean, this platform is great for an educational tool, even if you have no trading experience in, in these kinds of markets. So then up here, you'll see the place where you can actually place your trades. Um, if you find one you like, anything like that. Set the size of the trade, expiry. Um, I've got a bunch of other videos that explain in more detail what each of these fields will mean. So I'll go ahead and link to those as well. I'm just kind of giving you a taste for the interface here. I really like it. So I've entered that trade. If you place a trade, you'll see all your current positions down here um, in positions, pending orders. And actually, in these kind of markets, um, this option, this feature is one of my favorite features. I, it seems trivial, but this time zones tab here that you can just pull out at any time and see which markets are open, which markets are closed. Um, if you've ever traded like Forex um, before, just something this simple is really, really helpful when you're trading um, to know whether the currency pair you're looking at is even open for trading in its main market and things like that. So that seems like a small thing, but that's something you don't get in, say, uh, in, in that's something you don't get by default in some other tools. So that's really nice. Um, calendar here, if you want to trade on news, some people do that. Basically, this is, with this platform, one of the greatest things about it is how much stuff you have. You know, you might not, maybe you're an experienced trader and you're not going to use the trade ideas, but they're there. If, if you need them and you can tweak everything to your heart's desire in every place so that's really nice but if you're not that experienced the out-of-the-box functionality the out-of-the-box interface with the Spectre trading platform is really user-friendly and really helpful they seem to have designed this with the intent of helping people learn but at the same time allowing pros to just jump in and do their thing so really highly recommend you at least checking this out. Like I said, even if you're not actually placing trades, it can be a pl great place to learn. Talk to some industry professionals. And yeah, check out Spectre.ai.